Hello everyone, Taylor Johnson here. I wanted to give you an update on the real estate market in Washington DC area for uh, September. This is uh, data as of October 6th. Um, we, uh, as you know, we've had rising interest rates and that has caused some decline in the market. And we're seeing uh, sales, new and pending sales down at their lowest September levels in eight years. Important to note that we do have a annual seasonal decline in the fall um, and so that's part of it but we have uh, maybe a greater decline uh, than usual because of that homes remaining on the market a little bit longer as well dc region is 15 days uh, which is highest level since january of 2020 um, i also want to point out over here that the months of supply is still extremely low at 1.4, even though it says it's up 10%, that's still like a balanced market is six months, a, a, a tight market is three months, and we're, we're at 1.4. So we're still very much in a seller's market, but uh, plus for the buyer is that we can now negotiate a little bit more, uh, and you'll see that in a minute. The total number of active listings at the end of September was down, um, but uh, inventory grew. So these are contradictory terms, right? How can um, active listings be down while inventory grows? Um, what that means is that new sellers are not putting listings on the market <clears throat> and homes are staying in the market longer. So the inventory is actually growing. Um, the number of new listings uh, was below last September's total, um, though it did surge a little bit from month to month. But let me tell you that the trend for the last 10 years has been lower listings every year. So this is part of the reason why we are in this tight bind that we're in, is people are just not selling homes. So um, the supply of homes for sale, whether they're new homes or resale, is uh, really, really low. And prices are still rising across most of the metro region, though the pace of increase has declined, uh, slowing to a more sustainable maybe 3%. Um, so the rate of increase is, uh, you know, I think it's better, it's healthier for everyone. Um, and then I'd like to point down here, um, buyers who remain in the market will find more choices. So yes, it's hard right now with interest rates where they are, but if you are able to be a buyer right now, you have more choices and we have more negotiating ability than we did uh, at the beginning of the year or last year. And certainly then we will do later um, next year or the following when uh, interest rates fall again and more people jump into the market. <clears throat> so now if you can do the prices, <clears throat> at the current rates now is a good time and then refinance later when rates go down all right closed sales um we have a, a typical seasonally seasonal monthly decline but the biggest drop is among townhomes with sales down 31 percent so if you happen to be a person who's in the market for a downhole townhome now might actually be a good time uh, to look into that. If you are an owner of a townhome looking to sell, uh, now might not be the best time to do that. We have a typical seasonal change uh, in prices here, uh, but again, the overall price trend for the year is uh, up 3.3%, and uh, median days in the market is up, as we said earlier. New pending sales, um, note here that the single family detached homes fell 34%, while townhome sales plunged 37%, and pendo, uh, sorry, condo sales uh, pending was off by 24%. So the slowest decline was in condo sales. And what we've noticed over the last two to three years is condo sales are relatively flat in comparison to other categories <clears throat> but we'll also see 
how condo sales uh, affect something uh, later in a minute. Um, and that is the active listings here. The inventory decline of active listings is about 4%, driven by a sharp decline in the number of condominiums listed for sale. Inventories of both single family and detached uh, homes and down homes as remains about the same. So um, there are actually fewer condos for sale now than there were. Um, and showings are down. <clears throat> Let's look at local markets. Um, we've got a situation here where um, the numbers can vary quite a bit depending on where you are um, and what type of home you have, as you can see. So um, we have a slowdown in the urban region's suburban markets. The city has actually remained fairly strong. It's the suburban markets that have had more of an effect. Um, <clears throat> you'll note that Fairfax County is down 31%. Loudoun County closed sales are down 35%. Washington, D.C. is only down 18%. So, again, if you're a buyer, what this means is um, these areas with the greater declines are potentially buying opportunities for you. If you are a seller, it means that if you have to sell now, your home is going to take longer and you might expect that your price is not going to remain as strong. Maybe you're going to have to lower price. You should be really, really careful about where you're pricing a sale if you're a seller. Um, look here at the median sales price versus September last year, all categories are up except Alexandria and Arlington County. Now, <clears throat> Alexandria, you can see here, had only 148 sales. It's a very small um, sample pool. So uh, one price up or down could really affect the numbers. We see that here with Fairfax City too, only 24 or Falls Church. They're just too small to be reliable numbers. Arlington County though has 208. It's a, it's a reasonable pool of numbers, but again, compared to these others, uh, it's about half. So maybe these numbers are skewed, these uh, median sales numbers because it's such a small pool of homes. We, we can't really tell that until we see more of a trend. And um, if we look at new pendings and new listings, <clears throat> you can see here across the board, except Falls Church City, which I'm discounting, all new listings were down. And this again follows a trend that we've seen over the last five to eight years that every month, have some months with exceptions, but with every year, the total number of listings has declined. Um, and <clears throat> what that uh, is also showing us here is we have uh, days on market has increased. Uh, oh man, it screwed me up. Okay, so here are your d days on the market and they have increased. You can see um, we're now looking at 15, 26, 26 days on market, 18, five Falls Church, uh, 16, median is 15. So this is a big change from um, a couple of months ago when we only had like five, six days on market on average. So <clears throat> what this means as a seller is you have to be able to expect your home is going to take longer to sell. Uh, it also means for you as a buyer that uh, you have a little bit more time to get out there. You don't necessarily have to be the first one in the door when the house hits the market, uh, but still two weeks, um, five days, eight days uh, is, is still a pretty quick time. It's still a fairly fast pace. You still should have everything ready to go um, before you go look at home so that you're you don't lose out. 
and months of supply here um, is actually a little bit up but again it's all tight everything is under three months of supply which is a very tight market six months is the balanced market where the neither the buyer nor the seller has an advantage um, and you can see here that uh, even if prices do fall which some people predict um, they are if, let's say they went down 10 percent they'd still be 11 percent higher than they were uh, three years ago so um, we are in a rising market price wise the rate of increase has declined but um, we see a tremendous imbalance of demand and supply and you know what happens when demand exceeds supply it drives the price up so um, that's what we're seeing right now my name is taylor johnson i am a realtor with keller williams capital properties i'm part of the ang garcia team and i'd be happy to help you uh, whether you want to buy or sell or rent or maybe you just want some questions answered or uh, you need a resource of some sort um, please reach out to me I'm here for you. I'm uh, here to be, uh, you know, a good, good assistance for my neighbors in the D.C. region and particularly the DuPont to Highsville region. Thanks very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.